usually the, um, the volume's not so high on the looper. It's quite loud, loud today. It's quite loud. Okay. Yeah, usually well, it's more background, isn't it? Is that okay? You, yeah, that's, that's good. Okay. All right, I'm letting everyone in. Good evening, good afternoon, good Friday. <laughs> Welcome everyone. Um, this is Rohini again from Evolve Beings. Um, thank you all for joining us on this Aquarian new moon. It's very mysterious new moon. Um, we have Natalie Matos, my dear friend and teacher here um, doing her wonderful offering that she does every month at this community event that we host. And um, Natalie's such a special and gifted musician and we're so lucky to have her with us every, every month. And um, I'm not gonna say too much about this new moon. It's been quite, a, quite an intense cycle since we last saw you all last, last month. So I'm gonna let Natalie take over. But um, before we go ahead, I just wanna let y'all know that we're super excited. Uh, we've added another recording from Natalie to um, our page, to our website. And now she's got three incredible um, recordings that she's created for anyone that might be dealing with, um, you know, just the ups and downs and the anxiety and the fear and the overwhelming emotions that we're experiencing that we've all been, you know, sort of tested with this past one year. And so she's very thoughtfully created this amazing package and it's, um, the new one is up. So if anyone is interested, I'm just gonna share the, um, I'm gonna share the page with you. We're gonna have it on special offer for a little while until, later on this month. There you are. I'm gonna let Natalie take over. Thank you so much. Have a great session, everyone. I will be here. <laughs> if anyone needs anything, you can message me. Um, I'll be holding the space for you. Aww. Thank you, Rohini. It's always, always so lovely to, to have uh, Rohini holding the space for me with us here. As I said, uh, as she said, uh, we, are, we are friends and uh, Oh, and colleagues as well. We work together in many levels and uh, it's very beautiful to have her energy here and really lovely to see so, so many of you um, and people coming back every month. Um, ah, new Moon, as we all know, is this time, isn't it, where we have the opportunity to look at new beginnings. Um, and the planets, and obviously we can look at new beginnings at any time in life, but the planets are on our side when it comes to the new moon. And each new moon is bringing us something slightly unique and different in terms of the planetary alignments um, and what we can choose to look at personally, if we want to, if it feels right for us. Um, and this new moon in Aquarian, in Aquarian, I, I'm an Aquarian myself, um, and it's all about freedom. It's all about revolution. It's all about coming to that place where we really want to be. Uh, it's an opportunity for us to look inside and really deeply consider what are, what are my deepest dreams? What could I do if I was really free to just allow myself to be whoever, whatever I wanted to be. Um, so before we start, I think it would be nice to just take a moment to 
Put your hands in namaste position or just place a hand on your heart if that feels more comfortable. Take a moment to just <sighs> feel the soles of your feet. Feel that connection. I mean, what, why do we do this? Why do we put our hands in namaste? Why do we put our hands near our heart? Because <sighs> actually what we're doing is we're creating this beautiful loop, this loop of energy that comes down from the top of our heads, the crown chakra coming down through the body. It then comes from the heart down through our hands and back to meeting again and then back into the body. <sighs> and we create this, this loop of, of love and heart energy. <sighs> so maybe let's just take a moment now to just consider where in your life would you like to feel that little bit more free? And try not to consider whether it's possible or not. Just, just whatever comes up for you, what area of your life that you would like to feel that bit more free? What area of your life that you feel you would like some change? Maybe something that you need to stand up a little bit more for yourself, remembering that this is the time or the energy of, of revolution. Is there a place in your life or an area in your life where actually you're beginning to feel like, yes, it's time for me to fully speak out. It's time for me to fully admit how I feel a, about a particular thing. <sighs> it also may not be the case, and that's fine as well. <sighs> so if you have these thoughts, then let's just take a moment to imagine them going out to the universe and asking the universe to bring us that freedom or bring us that change in the best way that it could possibly come for us. It can be quite common that we try and work out the details of how we want our lives to be. And personally, I like to leave it open I like to think about the feeling that I want and then ask the universe to bring it to me in the best way possible. <sighs> so I would invite you now just to take a place for yourself. Lying down is generally a better way of being. Lowering the lights if you want to, lighting a candle if you want to, making sure you have some water by your side, making sure you're fully comfortable. Because <sighs> this is your time now. It's your time as an individual and our time as a group to connect in with ourselves, to connect in with each other, to connect in with this very, very unique time that the universe holds. This moment in this year with this planetary alignment will never be repeated again. So let's just take a moment to <sighs> absorb the magic of that. So for any of you that are joining us for the first time, this really is just a matter of you relaxing, lying down, listening, using your imagination, listening to the sounds, 
watching how the sounds affect your body. Remembering that you are in control, so all I am doing is opening doorways for us all. And whether we enter those doorways, how deeply we go through those doorways is entirely up to us as individuals. And I don't know if it's because I've brought up the subject of freedom and and the fact that in truth so many of us in our current lives don't really know what it is to experience true freedom. what I'm immediately sensing into is a softness around our hearts. <sighs> so just inviting you all to gently breathe into your heart and bring as much softness to that area as possible. You can place a hand on your heart if you like. And just let yourself know that you're here for yourself. That this space is about holding our emotions. About honoring our emotions. listening to our emotions. It's a loving space in which we get to connect with Mother Earth, connect with all the elements, Connect with all the spirits and the guides. <sighs> Connect with our ancestors. And to connect with each other. ask you to bring your awareness down to the soles of your feet. Bring your awareness to your knees. 
And from your knees, just very, very gently, run your mind's eye through your bones, down your shins to your ankles and back to your feet. Oy, 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 oy. <sighs> oy, oy. Bring your awareness to the base of your body, to your womb area, to the sacral chakra. Oh, really nice, everybody. Bring your awareness to the top of your thigh bone. Oh, Bring your awareness to how the top of the thigh bone sits in your hip sockets. Oh, and feel the softness. Then gently run your mind's eye down in the thigh bone to the knees. So let's bring our awareness to Mother Earth. How amazing is it that we are connecting with each other around the world through the energy of Mother Earth? <sighs> Just think about the distance between us. And think about <sighs> the amount of energy that runs through the Earth between, for example, myself in India and some of you in Europe. Oy, 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 oy. And let's take a moment just to think about this incredible planet that we live on. Hmm. Think about the incredible nature that she offers us. <sighs> Think about the food and the abundance. Every little tiny thing that we have in our life comes from Mother Earth. See if you can feel into the energy that she holds for us. Oh, such a beautiful, loving, soft, motherly, holding energy. And let's feel into that holding, feel into that security. Feel into that safety. And I'd like you, if you can, to imagine your spine. Imagine the vertebrae in your spine. And imagine just very, very gently, vertebrae by vertebrae, moving your way up your spine to your heart area. And we're going to do this with so much gentleness because as we move towards the heart, 
I can feel the vulnerability of our emotions. And the idea is that we learn to gently access them and hold them with love, with kindness, with safety. like if you can for you to imagine a, a white bubble of light around you in your individual space. And from within that bubble of light, oh, there's so much softness and you are being so cleansed and clean. such beautiful spirits here with us today, such a gentle feminine energy. It's almost like I can <sighs> feel this gentle and see this gentle swirl of energy that's coming inside of those white bubbles of light and just entering your body and touching every part of your body, helping you to relax, helping you to feel helping you to feel held in any vulnerabilities that you hold.
just inviting you to feel into your body. Where is your body feeling tight? Where would your body maybe like a little bit more freedom? Would it help you to just move your shoulder slightly or move your arm slightly and just Allow that feeling of deeper relaxation. Wherever it is that you're feeling the tension in your body, maybe just ask yourself, where is that tension coming from? What is your body holding for you? So I'm just imagining a, a white bubble of light that is surrounding all of us as a group. You have your individual lights around you, and then we have one very large one around all of us. And I'm envisioning us all lying in a circle with our heads in the center. Our arms are to our sides, our palms are laid upwards. We're connecting through our hands, we're connecting through our hearts. We're connecting through our crown chakras. We're connecting through our root and the earth. And it feels to me from the moment that we've started that there has been many guides, many spirits that have come and are supporting us today. That said, I would like to invite you to invite your own to come and sit with you within your individual bubble. 
Let's do that with gentleness. Just gently honoring all that exists beyond the physical self that is out there to support us. <sighs> if you want to invite the energy of nature, the energy of a particular power animal, a particular spirit, particular ancestor, just ask them to be with you now. Hmm. And it's interesting because when we when we first started, as I said, the first thing that I really felt from everybody was this incredible soft vulnerability around everyone's hearts that I just felt the need to hold with as much love and gentleness as possible. And now I'm feeling quite a different energy. I'm feeling quite a, a fiery, stubborn energy. <sighs> and sometimes we can get a bit frustrated with ourselves with that, that stubborn energy, that it can make us feel stuck sometimes. <sighs> but it actually has an incredible quality, an incredible strength, an incredible depth. So if any of you are able to tune into that within yourself, within your heart. It's, it feels like a very warrior style energy, a real shield, a real fire, a real... <sighs> and knowing that in the deepest truth, nothing can touch you. If any of you are able to tune in with that energy, then I invite you to do that now. And I'm just going to play some drum to tune in with that energy that little bit more and invite that spirit of that energy to come out and fight that fire to come out. Invite yourself to deeply resonate with and connect with any part of you that feels like they want change in some area of their life.
the energy that I'm feeling now <coughs> as I tune into the group is, is one of <coughs> recognition, admitting to ourselves that <sighs> certain things in life haven't necessarily been how we wanted them to be. And no matter how grateful we are for our lives and all the wonderful things that we have in them, <laughs> there's still scope for change. There's still scope for us all learning to live with a much deeper love and connection than we currently have. Connection with ourselves, with nature, with each other, with the universe, with spirit. And that's what it feels like, the spirit of this revolutionary energy of freedom that this Aquarian new moon is bringing. <sighs> Just imagine the amount of freedom we could feel if we were able to live with true connection truly from the heart, truly honoring each other.
if any of you have any emotions that you feel are swirling around you, you can imagine whatever you like to take them away. It might be that you can imagine almost like a cosmic hoover coming in and hoovering them all out from you, from inside your bubble of white light, literally working its way around your body. It might be that you want to feel like it's draining out of your feet and your hands and going down to the earth. It might be that you want to feel like there's a, a vortex of energy in the middle of us as a group. So where our heads are all in a circle in that middle there, this energy going round and round and round in a swirl and literally just collecting everything up from us as a group and taking it away. Allowing the vibrations to enter your body, allowing them to loosen up anything that's in there. This is your time to just let it free, let it go. Know that you're in a safe and held space. Remembering that that hoover can take it away, that vortex in the middle of us can take it away. Remembering that spirit's here with you, your guides are here with you, whatever you believe in is here supporting you. I'm here with you, holding the space, allowing you to just let go of those things that you've held on to for so, so long.
just feeling that energy naturally beginning to turn, naturally beginning to come as just a strength and a deep depth of happiness and joy. In order to experience the feeling, the joy of feeling free, we have to first understand where we're not feeling free. Just a reminder to each and every one of us that we are always held. We are always loved. We are always guided. And sometimes we can't see the full picture, so it's difficult to understand why certain things are happening. But just that reminder that life is on our side. Life is happening for us, not to us. For us. so that we can learn, so that we can grow, so that we can experience. So in your next few breaths, some extra love is being given to you by the spirits and the guides and the angels that I work with. Just imagine yourself breathing that in, into your body. Oh. 
And sending so much love to all of us and honoring each and every one of us in the difficulties that we face in life. We understand how hard it is for us at times. Just ask that you remember that each time something is hard, try and connect that little bit more. Try and soften your heart that little bit more. Try and ask for support. Try and feel spirit with you. that's the point that's what we're all trying to do we're trying to learn that deeper connection because with that deeper connection comes the freedom comes the love comes the total acceptance comes the surrender so many people in this world and that we find a gift I hope we find the gift
This is a gift, yeah. That the shadow holds within. The shadow hold. Yes, the shadow hold. Oh, the shadow hold. Within. Cause it's time to get free. And it's time to be seen. Yes, it's time. To be free. It's time to be free.
Just remembering that each and every heart in this group is the same. No matter what our life circumstances, we all know what it is to experience particular emotions and feelings and hurts and love and laughter. We all have the capacity to truly empathize and hold each other in everything that we go through. And let's remember that the earth as well is also going through many things right now. <sighs> and her heart. But there's a magic that we can happen, or that can happen, if we all connect our hearts, her heart. Really beautiful, everybody. And if you can, I want you to feel into your sense of self, your sense of strength, your sense of unity a sense of connection. And from that place, send love out to any parts of you that are hurting, any parts of you that need support. Any parts of you that are confused. Remembering that that sense of self, that sense of connection, that sense of unity is the foundation of who we are. And as always, it's feeling quite difficult to bring us all back. It feels like we're in this ah, lovely space of beauty and expansion and freedom and connection. But I'd invite you all right now to just 
feel into your feet, into your toes. You might want to move your legs a little bit and just get, get that base of your body, get that connection back with the earth. <sighs> get your connection back in the physical. Feel into the base of your body. Feel into your root chakra. Feel into your thighs and your knees and your calves and your thin shins and your ankles and your feet. You might want to just tap your legs a little bit so that you can actually feel them more fully and bring your consciousness into them. Really nice, everyone. Really nice. Hmm. Oh, and let's imagine that that big bubble of white light that's surrounding all of us as a group is going to disperse and join each of us in our individual white bubbles, in our individual rooms around the world. All the beautiful energy that we've created today is going to become part of our own aura, our own bubble of light around us. So I'd just like to say thanks to each and every one of you for being here today and helping to create this very unique energy. Please place a hand on your own heart and just thank yourself for the time you've taken in looking after yourself. And I genuinely believe the energy that we create here today is not just for us. We can extend it out to friends and family and the earth and humanity and just feel it spreading through your heart and your body and out into the world. And if there's anyone in particular you'd like to direct some extra love to, then please feel free to do that. Hmm. I'd like to thank all the spirits and the guides that I work with and oh, everything that has joined us today, all the different energies, all the different Spirits of love and light and power and service. Hmm. And I'd also like to honor where a lot of my abilities come from, I suppose. Somebody asked me the other day, uh, where do my chants come from? And my, my chants just come to me. I have never been taught them. Um, but what I am aware of is that I am half Puerto Rican. And uh, as a Puerto Rican, I am a mixture of Spanish and Native American, indigenous, and African. Um, and I would just like to honor the indigenous communities that around the world have kept such sacred practices going and have chosen to teach us them. And uh, it was definitely for me, an indigenous community from Brazil and Colombia that have taught me an awful lot. Um, a lot of what I do comes from my own connection and my own guidance, but I'm very aware that these communities have helped to open that for me and I would just like to honor them as well. <sighs> so when you're ready, again, just bringing that feeling back into the base of your body, into your legs and your feet, moving your hands, tapping yourself, tapping your lower body, and just bringing that energy back. <laughs> hmm. 
And when you're ready, just saying one last thanks to you all. Gratitude back to Mother Earth. <sighs> A massive thank you to Rohini and the evolved beings as well for making this possible. <sighs> and then in your own time, just rubbing your hands together. and placing them over your eyes before gently bringing yourself back to the group. Thank you, Natalie. What a wonderful session, I think. It's being <laughs> reflected in some of the comments that we have here. Um, if anyone else would like to share, um, how they're feeling, or maybe you just want to sit with these beautiful vibrations, you can do that as well. Thank you all for coming. Um, Natalie, <laughs> it's always <laughs> an honor, and it's always really special to share these evenings with you. Um, thank you for holding such incredible space for us and taking us on a journey each time. It really is, uh, tonight really felt like I was taking one for the team. <laughs> Whatever I was receiving was uh, being sent back out uh, tenfold to all the people around me, my family and everyone else. I don't know if other people had that experience, but it was very expansive. So Aww. thank you oh, so much. You're very, very welcome. And if, yeah, if anyone would like to speak, please feel free to come on and, and uh, let us know how the experience was for you. It's also nice to receive comments. The more feedback I get, the more comments I get, uh, it, it helps just to, to, yeah, to know how I can best um, hold these sessions for you. Um, for me this time, it was just this incredible strength actually, along with the vulnerability and an understanding that as I say, this, um, this feeling of, of that, that kind of stubborn energy is, is, is the warrior in us and is what helps us. And so, uh, yeah, I hope you all managed to connect with that as well. Um, if anyone would like to uh, unmute their, their mic, they can do that as well. Um, in the meantime, I just wanted to let everyone know, again, that we have Natalie's uh, <clears throat> third session is up on, um, a part of a series of conscious voice sound healing recordings that Natalie is uh, offering. Um, the link is in the chat box. And I also wanted to let everyone know that um, from March 4th to 8th, um, this applies to, the, to those in women's bodies, we're hosting our second Wonder Woman online uh, festival. And it's uh, gonna be five days, uh, more than 30 sessions, or, presenting um, talks and meditations and, and presentations by some of uh, the world's most beautiful, wonderful tantric teachers and psychologists and therapists. So um, if anyone is interested, um, I'm adding to the chat group the, the link. You guys can have a look, um, share uh, with your sisters, with your mothers, with your aunties. There's uh, some beautiful free offerings. There's some uh, paid ones, but it's all, it's all good. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, thank you everyone. Oh, thank Natalie, you. Some beautiful messages here, so. Um, yeah, I just, there was one I just wanted to answer. I've just been asked, uh, I want to know why and what is special about tonight. Um, so, oh, uh, <laughs> many things. The new moon, as, as I've mentioned, is an opportunity for new beginnings on an energetic level. Uh, it's, it's that part of that cycle that allows us uh, the time to be very inward. The, the new moon and the dark moon is all about coming into ourselves and, and discovering what's going on on the inside, whereas the full moon tends to be more of a vibrant kind of uh, move your energy outwards time. And this particular new moon, as I said, is, is in Aquarius. And so the planetary alignments always make up a very uh, particular 
energy for us each new moon. And as I mentioned, one of the things that I uh, was feeling into around this particular new moon was the Aquarian desire for freedom and also the Aquarian uh, desire for revolution in lots of ways. And um, it's interesting for me, I'm not an astrologist. I always have to look up the astrology of the new moon. Um, but it does help me to look that up and then feel into things and then I allow things to just flow. And uh, what really flowed for me, as I said, was tuning into that energy, that internal strength that we have that can often come out in the form of a feeling of anger or stubbornness. But to understand that that is there for us to, to show us, it's showing us that part of us that wants to have that revolution, that wants to say this isn't right for us. And in doing that, that's also showing us where we can create more freedom in our lives. Um, so that for me is what I believe has been special about uh, this evening and the particular planetary alignments. I know that there are others that would put many more meanings on top of that. And if you have any for yourself, then, then please uh, also go with those. But that's, that's what my experience was. Very well said, Natalie, thank you. <laughs> You're very uh, welcome. If anyone has any questions or has anything coming up, like uh, feel free to get in touch with Natalie. I'm sure she'd be happy to answer your thoughts and to us as well. Um, anytime you want to reach out to us, we have our Facebook page, our Instagram, where we're here <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and, and open to your queries. Thank you, Rohini. Thank you, everybody. And thank you for all your beautiful comments. <laughs> and I hope to see you again next month. And as Rohini said, if anything, any queries, any questions, you can, uh, you can come back to me. And, and maybe, Rohini, if possible, you could put my website up as well so that people know how to connect with me as well. That would be great. All right. Here's Natalie's. Um website and we're good to go we have are. a great cycle take care everyone <laughs> thank you everyone sending lots of love take care ciao, ciao. Bye. bye bye thank you bye bye